CZ is coming out of jail. Caroline is going into jail. If you think this is important, I have something way more important for you in today's video. Bam. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. In today's video, again, amazing news. Of course, watching the Bitcoin charts to tell you what is happening to Bitcoin today and what is going to happen in the future, guys. Also, of course, an inspirational quote at the end. Short but powerful video as I have a very busy day. But look how beautiful the day is already starting here in Phuket. Thailand guys amazing day now let's jump into the news first bam it is very windy today here on the beach guys but there is some news to take talk about the first of all like CZ came out of prison this is of course very positive CZ is one of the entrepreneurs that was like very important I think in this Bitcoin industry because he was starting the exchange Binance which grew to the big year the biggest exchange of the world so he did a lot of things for the adoption and sometimes when you do those things when you're a front runner you need to do some things different and mostly those different things are not like in line with what the law of a country wants that is why he spent uh, i don't know i think 16 or 18 months in jail i don't know even how long he spent in jail that he even spent in jail is not right to me guys like this is a revolution it is a peaceful revolution and we fight it peaceful we try to fight it among all the laws and the all of the world because it's the first time ever that we have an international decentralized digital currency um, that most countries just don't understand yet. And so we are not doing anything illegal. We're doing everything by the book. But just some countries don't like the adoption growing that fast. And that is why they now and then need to put some people in prison. Now, CZ is coming out, which is of course very positive. Probably also the reason why Bitcoin start to pump a little bit again. Uh, Caroline, FTX Caroline, the ugly one. Uh, yeah, not F FTX was ugly, but Caroline is also <laughs> ugly as fuck. She uh, is going into prison only for two years. Why? Because she ratted out the whole company. When you snitch, you get stitched. I think that's one of the expressions. She's one of the biggest snitches of century, guys. She just snitched out the whole FTX company. And that's why she only got like two years. And the rest will probably be sentenced uh, to way longer times, guys. So, uh, if you do business, don't do business with a girl that looked like Caroline. You never know where you might end up, guys. So that was the news about all the jail time. The thing that there is so many news about jail time, Bitcoin people, crypto people, is also, of course, really cool on the other hand. That means that it's getting very popular worldwide and they can't stop it. They don't know how to stop it. So they just randomly put very important people into jail so they can hopefully stop the too fast decentralization of the world. In my opinion, that's also the reason why Pavel, the guy you know from uh, Telegram, why he was uh, uh, held in France, you know, when uh, even messaging decentralizes, money decentralizes, uh, the rest of the world will be decentralizing very quickly as well. So we need to stop the front runners. So, uh, they can breathe, the governments, those centralized entities uh, that want to control the world, that want to be your slave master. Those people, they need some time to figure out how to handle crypto, how to handle free taxing, etc, etc, etc. So that's the reason behind it. So it's very positive. It means we are doing something right. Yes, Bitcoin is going to be king. Bitcoin is going to be building the new monetary system. And yes, we were the front runners of that. Amazing to see that, guys. Then we have some other news, guys. There is a wallet ending on E57, I think it was, was hacked or drained for 32 million US dollar worth of crypto, guys. 32 million dollar worth of crypto. I think it's something like 12,000 Ethereum or something was drained out of that wallet. I was drained as well, not myself, but my wallet, like it's almost one and a half year ago, was drained around 250K, something like that. Uh, would have been uh, worth now, to be very honest, around $2 million because that portfolio that was drained, those tokens, they grew tremendously. So uh, yeah, that was like a painful drain for me, but not as painful as 32 million US dollar. So please be aware of these hackers. They are creating all kinds of tools nowadays to hack you. I even saw that they are delivering packages at your home and then when you open the package, 
there is a QR code in there inside. And because you're very curious, you scan the QR code, but that QR code leads to a website that directly hacks your phone. And by that also has access to your passwords, to your MetaMask, etc., etc. It's getting crazy, crazy advanced in this hacker world. So I believe that these hackers should be locked up all over the place. Not like CZ, the, guy, the guys that are doing good for Bitcoin and crypto, but those people that are stealing from the poor, they will never be punished. It's always the ones that are stealing from the rich. Because CZ built Binance, poor people got access to Bitcoin and to becoming rich. That's not what the centralized entities like governments want. They don't want the poor people to become rich. They want the rich to become richer. And that is how you do it. You just let those hackers hack the poor people and all the other people. Morning, and all the other people, you, um, you just lock up because else they make sure that everyone is going to be edge. Sorry for that, guys. Yes, I could have been booty, but she was wearing a hot pants. So, <laughs> for all the men over there. So, uh, that's very interesting to see now. 32 million. I think this guy didn't wake up very happy. <laughs> no, I don't think that you wake up happy. At least, maybe that was just one of his wallets. Maybe, maybe he has like 10 wallets of 32 million US dollar. You never know, uh, because you don't see too much about it in the news. There is some gossiping that it is a founder of one kind of project ah shit what was it again some tool project i don't know what it is uh, there could be a wallet linked to him let's see something more will come out in the next couple of days and i will keep you up to date but please be aware of these drainers these drainers are very 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 dangerous you just need to click one link and your wallet will be completely empty it will be drained please watch out until today guys I still don't know how my wallet was drained. I didn't click any links. It happened at 6.30 in the morning. I was not like really awake yet. I could have not clicked any link. Something else happened. I think it happened because of the sale of an NFT on OpenSea. But I can't prove it, but that's what I think that happened. So there is many ways to be drained, to get drained. So please always have a two-factor authentication or any other dual setup that you can't send these tokens from your MetaMask without um, a second step. For example, you can connect your Ledger device, your hardware wallet, to MetaMask. Then, yes, they get access to your wallet, but they cannot send out these tokens because they also need to have access to your hardware device. That's the most safe and secure uh, setup, in my opinion, if you want to use MetaMask. So just use MetaMask in combination with a hardware wallet that needs to be signing all the sending of your tokens, etc. That is way safer than just a simple password or maybe two passwords, whatever system that you're using, guys. Now, that was the news for today. Let's jump into the charts to see what is happening to Bitcoin today. The first chart for today, guys, is this four hour chart. On the four hour chart, like you used for me, you can see, um, yes, we are exactly doing what I thought we would be doing. We are fighting a yellow line. We broke the yellow line. We went up all the way to my target around that 66, 67K. Now we came back, we are retesting this yellow line and we are fighting this one. At the moment, 65K, we're still above 60K, uh, 65K, so that's, that's uh, very beautiful. The scanner is gonna close in uh, a couple of hours, I think. Um, so it's very important to understand uh, where is this candle closed. Ah, this candle is gonna close in two hours, guys. Uh, let, let it be closing a little bit higher. Let it be closing around that midline, that red line. Uh, that would be perfect, 65,600. Then we have a large wick again to the bottom and that will uh, make sure we have a pump. The Bollinger Band is compressing, which is also very good because it means it's consolidating. And from there, we will again do the next move. In my opinion, the move will be to the upside, but let's have a look, guys, um, in a later stadium. Uh, again, the long was a beautiful profit. You can be taking profit over there. Does this also work, for example, on the day chart? Yes, of course. Here, this is the day chart. Let's go to the day frame here. The buy signal on the day chart. Purple candle means uh, at the moment we are closing these candles above the yellow stepping line on uh, smaller time frames. Then we close it also above it with a day time frame. You would have been taking the long at 56K. You would still be in or you sell at the sell signal or you sell when we close down below the yellow stepping line. One of those two. Uh, sell signal, you would have like 63, that would be 8K profit. Here now we are around 10K profit just on one Bitcoin without leverage, guys. Um, on the daily chart, yes, you can do some beautiful swing trades. Just check them over here. You buy over there, you sell over there. You buy back over here, you sell over there. You buy back over here, 
you sell over there. So yes, it also works on a day chart, guys. Now, let's go to the five day chart. This is the Gaussian channel. Um, yes, like I told you, very important. We needed to close that candle above it. We opened the candle above the Gaussian, we closed above the Gaussian, we opened at 63, closed at 65. This new candle now is gonna is opened also above the channel. It's gonna close in uh, one day and 23 hours. Let that also please close above it. That's very positive. That is meaning we are done with that Gaussian thing and we can go up again. And is this important? Yes, it's very important. Why? Because at the moment there is more signals on the charts showing us that we are probably going to see a very bullish move. Now, one of those signals on the bottom is the MACD. And especially here on this five day chart, we can now see that this red area is going into that green area. I'm gonna put my face a little bit higher so you can see it over there. So this red area is now going into green area. These bars over there on the bottom, they're turning red to green. That means the blue line is crossing above um, that red line. This is a very important, I'm talking about this area over there, very important move. Because the last time when we saw this move was over there. It was when we went all the way from these levels, 40k, bam, to almost 70k. That's almost a 30k move. The time before that we saw that was over there. We went from 25k, bam, over here to 45k. That's a 20k move. 20k move. This is a 30k move. Now let's go back a little bit further. This is the bear market. This red area is the bear market. In the bear market, we saw this crossover over there. We went from this level, 18, 19k, all the way over there to 25k. So that's uh, how much is that? 18, 19, 7k move? Let's make it a 7k move. 7k. Then we go back to the previous bull market, just to show you how important it is what is happening over here now. Previous bull market over there, there we see the gate the same. From red to green bars, blue above the red line, this was the move all the way from this candle over there, 30k to 67. 37k move. Now, the time before that in the bull market, is over there. Red to green, that was a move from 10k to 67k, 65k. That's a 55, sorry, 55k <laughs> move. 55k move, 37k move, 7k move, 20k move, 30k move. How big is this move going to be? That's the question. This move over there, that's the question. I believe this move is going to be 280 to 85 to maybe 95k. That's a 20k move. So I believe we will see a 20k move. You can earn 20k by buying one Bitcoin today in the next couple of months. I believe this is going to happen within three months time, guys, this 20k move. Okay? Now, let's jump into some more important charts even more important charts, nah, like also important charts. That's what I need to see. Not the most important chart, but also important chart. This one over here. This one I found on um, Twitter. This is Titan of Crypto. I found this one uh, because I like that he is saying exactly the same on a weekly chart. This is the weekly chart. Also there we can see here the RSI going down, this crossover over there. We hear the MACD crossing previous time that we saw this was a huge move, 30k to almost 70k, that's a 40k move almost. Now we see the same, we are touching that 50 SMA, like we are touching that 50 SMA over there, then we see this one over here, the crossover, uh, we, and then we see the crossover of the blue and the red line, and we see this our design crossover, all exactly the same like we were over there. This was a 30k move. Again, I am expecting a huge move out of this. Maybe even above 100k, but I believe 100k will be reached in 2025. I think 94, 95, and we will drop down, down again a little bit. Important chart, important move. Also on the five-day chart, also on the week chart, guys. It's all looking very, very bullish. A more important chart is this one. This is where we are at the moment. This one is now saying, hey, we are almost at 11% after the halving. What happened the previous time when we were 11% after the half? 
The previous time was over there. We went massively up in price. This is how we went. Yeah, from $100 to 1K. Over there, 11% after halving, bam, we went massively up. We did do up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, like we, we, like we had runs and we had some pull packs. I think it was six pull packs of 30%, but we went massively up. 11% after last halving over there in 2020, massively up. Massively up from 10K area to 60K area. Now again, we are almost at that 11% after the halving. All the charts are telling us we are going to go massively up. The weekly chart, the five-day chart, the monthly chart, all charts are telling us we are going to go up. And also here, if you look at the halvings, yes, we are now 11% after the halving. We will probably go massively up. Amazing chart. Everything is in line at the moment, guys. The rainbow chart also showing us that we are still very cheap areas in Bitcoin. We are now in the bluish, greenish area. This bluish, greenish area is the buying area still. We went up a little bit into the green. We came now down to 170 days sideways movement. Now we need to go up to this orange, yellowish, orange area. I don't think we will reach the red area. That would mean $1 million per Bitcoin in this market. But I believe we will reach the yellow, orange area, which will lead into 100 to 160K. And just check it in the previous cycles when we were doing this sideways movement after the halving here, after the halving, sideways in that greenish, bluish area, and then bam, explode into that orange red area. Sideways movement in that green blue area, bam, explode into that red area. We are seeing here the same sideways move in that blue green area. There will be a moment, bam, we explode all the way into 2025 into that orange area. Very cool chart. Now, then the most important chart is I uh, think by far this one, because this one is telling you not only to buy Bitcoin um, to become more rich, but also to protect your capital against inflation. And I think that's very important. If you stay in US dollar or euros, you can also make the euro symbol of this one. Then $5 bought you a shitload of groceries in 2010, it bought you less in 2021, and it's buying you even less in 2030, probably only the box in 2030. One Bitcoin bought you some groceries in 2010. In 2021, we bought you a car. In 2030, it's going to buy you a house. Do you see the difference? This is a huge difference. Your dollars or euros are devaluating. Your purchasing power is going down. You're buying less every year, less every year. With your Bitcoins, they are not devaluating, they are becoming more valuable, which means with the one Bitcoin, you're buying more and more and more. Why would you still stay hedged in dollars or euros if you know and see and can analyze these numbers? You're working very hard for your income. I know you are. We are all working very hard for our income. And is it not... Shouldn't it be like that if you work so hard for your income, for all the money that you want to earn every month with working, is it not like the most important thing that with that income you can still buy the same amount of goods? If you will be able to buy less and less and less goods with the same income that you spend the same time on working for it, you work 40 hours a week, every year the same, 40 hours a week, you're earning an income, and you're able to buy less and less and less because your income is put on your bank account in dollars or euros. Just be honest. Look into the mirror. It is the truth. It is the truth. There is nothing that you can say that will make me think different. I know for sure that last year you bought more for $10 than you are buying this year. And I know for sure that like 20 years ago you bought way more for $10 than you are buying now. And I also know for sure that with one Bitcoin, I was buying less 10 years ago than I'm buying now with one Bitcoin. From groceries, I'm almost buying a house or an apartment now with one Bitcoin. That's a huge difference. That is why we as a family are vested in Bitcoin. Our capital is not only growing in value, but also in purchasing power. We are earning more and being able to spend less Bitcoins to the groceries. That's how it works. That's why it's 10 times better than fiat. Your capital is growing, 
plus your purchasing power is growing because you need to spend less and less bitcoins on all that stuff that you want to buy. It's very important that you understand this. Stop using these dollars, stop using these euros. Go hatch your capital, your savings, all of that stuff in Bitcoin. That is how you grow your capital. This chart is showing it very, very clear. And you know it is true. So why are you still doubting? Don't doubt, zoom out, stop crying, start buying. Yes, I turned around for the charts, guys. Yes, because the wind is really strong. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed the charts. Um, the charts are showing us short term that we are holding support at that 65K area. There's a very beautiful support level to be consolidating above 65K. This could mean that 65K is becoming like this sideways area all the way into October-ish, beginning of October-ish. And from there, we get that breakout that we're expecting to that 70, 80K level. It feels like that if you look at the charts. For example, the weekly chart, the MACD crossover, etc. It really feels that the next push is very close. And yes, we went sideways for almost 170 days now. So it is time. It's time, just like always in those four-year cycles, to start moving up to the next level. So let's see if that's gonna happen. Long term, guys, still very, very, very bullish on Bitcoin. Man, Bitcoin is gonna go to a million dollar in the next like 10 years or something. That is how far it will grow. We are now below 100K. Everything you buy around 60K will be a shitload of profit in the far future, guys. It's the gold of the 21st century. More and more capital is streaming and flowing into Bitcoin from all sides, not only you and me, from governments, from countries, from institutional investors, companies, everyone starts to understand that Bitcoin is the best performing asset ever existed. And they will want to take part in this best performing asset ever existed because that's the only way to protect their capital against inflation. And also for you and me, if you want to protect the capital against inflation, be hedged into Bitcoin or gold or anything else that is outperforming the US dollar or the euro. Now, Let's jump into the last part of the video, the inspirational quote. The inspirational quote for the day, guys. People always ask me, Didi, what is the most important thing of life? What is the most important thing of life? I think it's a very simple answer. I think the most important thing of life is being happy. Being happy. There is nothing else. You need to be happy. That's the only thing you need to do. The moment you are happy, that is the moment when you live the way you want to live. That is the moment where all, oh, wow, like it's coming even here, completely here. The sea is like really touching the tree line now. It never happened before, there's a lot of water coming. <laughs> Nothing to do with the global warming. Less water, there's more water probably because of ice melting, that's what they will try to fool you. And also that's a cycle. But let's get back to the inspirational part. <laughs> I don't want to go too deep in that stuff. but. It's simple, just being happy. That's the only thing that counts. Whenever you're happy, you're performing optimal and you're, at, and, and you're attracting all those things that you want to be attracting. Life will flow as it needs to flow. That is what you need to focus on. Just one simple thing, being happy. Do whatever it takes to become happy. If that is changing your job, change your job. If that is changing your husband, not my wife, but maybe all the other wives. Change your husband. <laughs> if it's changing your wife, change your wife. <laughs> you know, everything in life comes down to one thing. The core of you as a person just wants to be happy and just needs to be happy. That's all. Some food, some drinks, and being happy. And the more, and the more happy you will be, the more happy all the people around you will become. It's simple. And the more happy the people around you become, the more happy this whole community becomes. And then because of that, you will become more happy as well because you're surrounded with very positive happiness people. And the more happiness people you surround yourself with, the more even happier you will become. It's a very simple thing. Create your own happiness. That's what you need to do. I'm gonna go down now. Just create your happiness. That's the only thing. And it's not difficult because you know exactly what makes you happy in life. You know also exactly what makes you not happy in life because you're avoiding, hopefully, you're avoiding all those things that don't make you happy. And hopefully you're focusing on all those things that do make you happy. 
That's the only thing you need to do. So that's for me the most important thing in life. It's not money, it's not cars, it's not houses. Yeah, maybe health is also very important, but I believe that if you're happy every day and you're not stressing every day, you will be healthy. It's all connected to each other. Happiness comes from inside, but if you're sick inside, it's very difficult to become happy. But if you are happy and focusing on happiness, you will also like become a little bit more healthy inside, guys. That's just how it works. You need to focus on happiness. Just focus on those things that make you happy in life. And everything will go step by step as it needs to flow, guys. So, happy is number one. So, if you have troubles in becoming happy in the morning, I recommend to listen to one song. And I think the song is called, Don't Worry, Be Happy. Do, 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 do. You know that one? Don't worry. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Be happy. Just listen to that song every morning and you will automatically become happy in the morning already, guys. Just the lyrics and everything else in the song is just amazing to become happy like that, guys. Now, that was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts today, about the tips today, about everything else, about being happy? I'm gonna sit on this swing over there now. Bam. I'm gonna sit there, focus on the sea for five minutes, focus on my happiness this morning again on this beautiful island, Phuket. Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing Monday, amazing week, and see you tomorrow again. Bam.